Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Getting your Japanese citizenship. How hard was the test? Like the actual, uh, I guess, the testing of your Japanese skills? Um, so basically, it was, it felt like an eternity, but you're in, it's like a one on one um, an interview with a, a government official. He pulls out the, do, the file of like documents and it's seriously like it's like an encyclopedia and he has absolutely everything and he just like plops it down on the desk and then he slides a paper over to you and it has like a basic uh writing and you basically just have to do hiragana and katakana uh just writing like simple words it's all in japanese there's no like uh, what does this say in katakana in, in english or anything it's like it's all japanese and then there's a reading comprehension part. That part was kind of tough because it, it's it's different between doing like conversational, but then like actually like reading something and like trying to figure out like the, the question is like a little bit more difficult. And then that's just like the more standard, uh, like actual test of Japanese. And then if you don't even pass that, then they don't even like move on to the actual like interview and then I would say it's probably probably about that. 45 minutes to like an hour of him going through all the documents and they've already gone through it and they have questions about certain things so then he'll go through and he'll ask you about certain things like wow what was your mother's maiden name or like, why was it this or like why did your parents meet here like something like that and you have to answer it in like in all Japanese and it's, it is stressful. I started off, I was like stuttering. I was sweat through my shirt and stuff. Man, I was, I was going through it. <laughs> did you pass your first time around or? Uh, I got lucky and I did it my first time because they have like a, a, an initial meeting where you like submit all your stuff. And I, I like really struggled in that meeting with like speaking to the, the government official and stuff. So I think that that like kind of scared me straight to where like, I was like, I, I got to study, like I got to do all that. Cause that's what they mostly judge you on is as long as like, you don't have anything that's, uh, I don't want to say it like, like odd to them as far as like uh, all your other documents, like your family set up and all that, as long as nothing like that is weird, then it's basically just a test of like, your like mannerisms and like, if you like, if they honestly feel like you would be able to like assimilate to like the Japanese culture and stuff. So yeah, it was, I passed it my first time after that like initial um, like meeting. So I, I definitely got lucky and like, I was like relieved because I was like, I don't know how much longer I could do all this preparation stuff. <laughs> it was rough. <laughs> hey, what was harder, the naturalization process or getting that Japanese driver's license? Man, those are like neck and neck, man. <laughs> I think it took me it took me three tries to get my Japanese driver's license over the course of like nine months or something. Man, that process was crazy, bro. We had to go through so much to get that. I've been driving for like ten years at that point. And then they were like, yeah, sorry, you didn't pass. And I was like, I never had an accident. Like, I've been a good driver my whole life. And it's like, like crank yeah. churn, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> like they had, us wake, Max, they had us waking up at 6 a.m. We had to be at the DMV first in line. We had to take, like, the written test, take the driver's test. Hopefully we got a good enough teacher, and then we'll be able to pass. It was so hard, man. Mm-hmm. Oh, you guys did this together when you were in Aishin? Yeah, we were there. Oh, Okay. Yeah, I remember uh, Mike passed uh, his first try, and then it took me three times, and then it took you a couple times too, right? Dude, it took me three times. I remember doing it once when I came back from the States. I turned out the wrong way. The professor was like, Dame, it just I just went back to the front, like, it's over. <laughs> it's, it's instantly over. <laughs> no chance.
yeah. Yeah, that, that, that driver's test is crazy. But I, I understand, like, the, the logic on their part behind it, though, because I know Japanese citizens have to go through, like, such a strict process, and they have to do so much. So it's only right that kind of put everybody else to the, to the same standard. <laughs>